In the previous lecture, I have demonstrated you how to use tab command and this command allows you to monitor processes in real time. Also, I have demonstrated you how to kill a specific process using its process ID. Now let me show you how you could install additional package into Linux computer using apt get utility and we will install htop package and afterwards we will run it and you'll see difference between top and htop. All right. Let me first show you a help page for apt get command. man apt get. And you'll see that apt package is handling different utilities and you could install different packages using apt get. And first action you need to do is to update apt-get. It will actually pull all latest versions of different packages from internet. Let's do that. Let me press Q here in order to close this output. Let me clear terminal and enter apt-get update. Press enter. Connecting to archive ubuntu.com, getting information about packages. Done. And now let's use additional argument for this command apt get install. And a second argument we will supply name of the package we want to install. Actually, let me switch to this window to make it more visible. And actually, here I'm running currently two different bash processes. Let me show you this quickly. PS. And actually, in this output, I don't see bash process with process ID 1. And the reason for that is that I have actually created additional bash process here in this window. And uh, it does not show by default root process. And root process has ID 1. That's why in order to see all processes, I could add option dash E or dash capital A. Let's press enter now. And now I see two different bash processes. One is running here, this bash process has this ID, and another bash process is running here in this window. All right, let's now use apt get install command and install package called htop. Reading package list, fetching, and this package was successfully installed. Let's see where it was actually installed. For that, you could use command which and type name of utility htop. And I see that this additional utility was installed into user bin folder. If I list files here in this folder, user bin, and this utility will be somewhere here. Let me scroll a bit up. Yes, here it is, htop. All right, now we have htop utility installed. And before running it, let's make a short break. I'll see you next. Bye-bye.